Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I uh, hope everybody had a good plan going into today. Hope everybody knew uh, levels going into today. We'll cover them in a second. We'll review them uh, from last night's video. But if you are brand new to the channel, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much for spending 10, 15 minutes with us uh, getting into this uh, whole world of technical analysis, unbiased technical analysis, uh, that we go where the market goes, not the market that we want to, but the market that we have and we try to make uh, light of it. So well, thank you very much and subscribe, share, uh, comment, all that good stuff. Tell us about your training, trading journey. I'm sure uh, it will help uh, somebody else out. So what do we know, right? What do we know and uh, what do we have on the horizon tomorrow? Uh, yesterday, if you watched the video, uh, we talked about, um, and again, and I, and I said this the nicest way possible, uh, the last couple of days for, what, any, for all intents and purposes, was a dead cat bounce. Um, and I heard it all the time, what are you talking about? It's a rally. Okay, you could call it, like I said last night's video, you could have called yesterday whatever you want. Again, like I said, you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. Uh, the reality is we knew that the NASDAQ bounced uh, into that 360 level. They got stuck twice in the last two out of three days. And we knew going into today's session, number one, that 360, the bulls needed to reclaim. And the bears, if you go back to last night's video, we talked about 355, uh, 79. We also knew the bottom of the channel, right? Because the bottom of the channel we've been talking about for a number of weeks uh, that we finally saw that big soft landing hit that 351 a couple of days ago. The market started to bounce and here we are, right? Here we are. So uh, obviously the big question going into today's session was from last night was um, Microsoft strong enough to lift the bulls higher was Google going to be weak enough to take the bears lower? We got our answer pretty aggressively, right? Very, very aggressively today. Um, if you got, if you guys follow those levels, uh, especially on the ETF side on the QQQs, you know two things happened today. Uh, we took out yesterday's range of 355.79 that we talked about, and we took out that 351 soft landing, which is the, this is the lowest close folks. This is the lowest close uh, in this whole formation. And this is the first close below the 150 day moving average. So pretty violent day. Uh, you had the NASDAQ down about two and a half percent. The Dow, you know, pretty, you know, down three tenths of a percent. Um, you know, not nothing really. The, the S&P down one and a half percent, but the focus, okay. The focus was definitely technology. And once Google came in, uh, it pretty much, um, you know, it pretty much put a lot of sour, you know, taste in uh, software names, uh, social media names, cloud names, anything to do with uh, cloud. That got hit as well. Uh, pretty disgusting, uh, violent sell-off. Uh, we were ready for it, uh, as we, you know, as, as we talk about every single day. Uh, we talked about the names, you know, in nauseam. All again, all you have to do is go back to. Uh, the previous two, three videos, the same names we talk about all the time. Uh, and the question now is what happens next? So, so we had, um, you had Meta come out with earnings uh, after the close. This was actually the big one today. Uh, you know, just like, you know, just like uh, Microsoft, they beat on the top and the bottom of the range, which is obviously a good thing. The revenue uh, jumped more than 23%. And now the question is, well, the same question we had yesterday. Is Meta going to be strong enough to pull everything back up? Because remember, this is the first close right now below the 150-day moving average. And again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand, well, then you have a scenario here of a, a really great, well, really egregious channel going all the way down uh, to this 338, 340. Not tomorrow, obviously, but this is kind of the longer we start building below the 150-day support, the higher probability we start going lower and lower. And again, you can see the case study here. Uh, when we lost the 50-day moving average, again, it didn't tank right away. It took two, three days to play out. It hit the 100-day moving average. Then it went down to the 150, bounced, and took out the 150-day moving average as well. So here's your next measure potential. It's 338, 
uh, 340 level on the queues. Again, is it possible uh, that Meta saves the day and everything explodes? Yeah, listen, every, again, everything is possible, but the question is, do you really think it's probable? And that's kind of the, the whole question uh, of, of the day. Uh, Meta right now is up about 3%. Uh, after the close, uh, the initial move uh, was down, right? The initial move was down. You can see it here on the five-minute view. The initial move was down, then went green, and now everybody is waiting for the conference call. Uh, as of right now, uh, Meta is up about 10, up about 3% on the day. By the time uh, you guys watch this video, and again, right now it's about quarter to five Eastern time, you know, Meta could be 290 or it could be 330. We don't know, but the point is right now, uh, it is up about nine ten percent, uh, nine ten points uh, after hours, and we'll see how uh, this um, is going to play out with the other names. If you look at all the other names, they're not good, right? They're, they're, and despite you know Meta rallying, you know you're seeing a lot of things uh, getting hit, completely getting hit after hours. Um, AMD is down again, uh, Tesla is down again, Nvidia is down again. Um, you know Google had a, a horrific, horrific day today. A uh, horrific day today. Um, just got absolutely killed. Lost all support. Looks like a you know. It looks like um, this 123 area uh, is going to be its next next level of support. But the point is, the queues did close below support. Uh, the question again: Can Meta save the bulls tomorrow? We shall see. Um, you know, I, I would love to see just from the point of value, right? I would love to see a little bit of a gap up on a lot of names. Uh, and if they could lose today's ranges, well, they can get hit. I mean, look at, you know, look at names, for example, like AMD, right? We talked about AMD the last couple of days. AMD got smoked today, absolutely smoked. This thing is very close to losing its September lows. Um, you know, look at uh, look at Tesla, right? Tesla had its uh, dead cat bounce, got rejected off the five-day moving average, put in a lower high, right? Put in a lower high, lower low today, uh, gave back the 200-day moving average on the close. Again, is this a scenario that we test uh, the lower channel here, right? The lower channel uh, on Monday's uh, Monday's lows in the next couple of days, right? Very, very possible as well. Um, look how close uh, Apple is, right? Apple is not that far away from the 200-day moving average. Again, if Meta uh, gives up its gains or, you know, these stocks just, just have no buying pressure whatsoever, you know, can this thing lose the 200-day moving average? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not really... Uh, that that crazy to think these stocks can lose the 200. They've been losing them uh, day by day. Um, look in the video, right? Look in the video. Um, you know, Nvidia today did exactly the same thing. We had this massive move down. Uh, it reclaimed some levels, got rejected off the 10-day moving average, lost the five. You know, Nvidia right now is sitting back on its 100-day uh, moving average. You guys remember last week's, you know, the low for Monday? Guys, watch that low for Monday. Remember we were talking about if Nvidia loses its whole channel September lows. And it held the September low, the September lows on Monday. Well, now it's back in play, right? It's definitely back in play for the next couple of days. And if Nvidia starts losing the bottom of this channel here, boy, oh boy, again, we have a lot of room down uh, before it's set to uh, report earnings. So uh, again, there's a lot of names on the chopping block this morning, uh, th this afternoon for for tomorrow. Uh, look at a name like Snow, right? Look at a name like Snow, another uh, cloud-based name. Look at look how many times it held this bottom channel here, guys. Take a look, right? Once, two, three times. You know, what happens if snow loses the bottom of the channel tomorrow, right? This thing, there's a lot of room down. So, you know, we're set up as far as individual value goes. Uh, we are definitely set up uh, to the downside. Again, the question is, is Meta strong enough to pull everything up? Uh, you know, again, it's very, very tough to uh, to get excited if you are a bull. Uh, that was the question from Microsoft. And Microsoft uh, basically did this from the open, right? It opened up. Uh, from 47 and basically came in about eight, nine bucks uh, from the highs. So again, if Microsoft couldn't do it, is it possible Meta does it? We'll see, right? We shall see, said the blind man. Tomorrow, uh, you have uh, Intel, right? Not exactly the darling that it used to be uh, during the heyday of the internet craze. It used to be a market leader along with Cisco, Microsoft, uh, and Oracle. Not so much anymore. And the biggie tomorrow is going to be Amazon. You love Amazon. I love Amazon. We all have Amazon Prime. Blah, 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 blah. Does it mean anything? It means absolutely nothing because, again, this is the lowest close in this whole formation. If it wasn't for uh, the stock uh, you know, coming out with earnings tomorrow, this would be a five-star short uh, if it would confirm today's channel going all the way down uh, to 17. So the bulls have work to do, right? The bulls definitely have work to do uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, obviously, I will give uh, the bears every opportunity 
uh, to lose today's Rangers for tomorrow. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, I have no interest in a dead cat bounce because we all know dead cat bounces could be, you know, half an hour. They could be one day. They could be, you know, two hours. But when they end, and this is what happens, right? We had a two-day, you know, dead cat bounce. It ended today, lost every range possible that we talked about. And now this is the lowest close in the whole formation. We shall see. Tomorrow, guys, just as a reminder, there is no uh, there is no video. Tomorrow night is Thursday. It's my uh, nightly week uh, weekday off. Uh, to be kind of reset for Friday's trading. Uh, if you are uh, curious about pivots and you're looking to come aboard in the in the live webinar, feel free. Uh, kick the tires for 30 days. It's pretty cool. Uh, nobody trades the pivots uh, the same way that we do. It's a proprietary system. Again, um, you know, like I've like I've said for years, if if somebody else created this, I would say, wow, this is pretty impressive. Since I'm an idiot, and I hate myself. I'm still in shock how good this thing works. But who the hell am I to say I'm a little biased? Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. Hopefully, everybody will find uh, what they're searching for. And everybody hope continues to be healthy and happy. God bless everybody. I'll see you soon.